Uh, we went long-term hold. We really, we said we want everything long-term hold. And the story was to basically have, be able to have equity structure that could carry us through whatever the next recession was going to be. And I'm still in that story. We still sell strategically, if that makes sense. And the market's as good as it's ever been right now from a valuation standpoint. So, you know, we basically put all these together and then our model itself, because we have these large units, lots of bedroom space and a big whole dollar rent right now, we're probably, I would say our average rent's 39.50 for a five bedroom unit, 1,750 square feet, 39.50, you can do the math for the per square foot. But interestingly enough, what we end up is at 780 per bedroom. That's the real key metric that we track. And when you compare that to any other one bedroom or two bedrooms, we're like, you know, 30 to 50% below the market on a per bedroom basis. And that's how these, you know, we're not renting per bedroom legally or in our lease structure, but when the families walk through, this is how they look, they go, oh, hey, that's your room and adult child, you're going to pay this much. And where the parents were this room, we're going to pay this much. That concept of economic sharing really is, is, you know, pervasive in their thought process. 